Welcome back to NurseNet Numeracy, the free to use online maths tutorial course designed for nurses. This is the calculating dosage end of module test. In this test, there are seven questions with varying degrees of complexity. We will ask each question and invite you to pause the video until you're happy to proceed and reveal the next question. At the end of the test, we will reveal all the answers, so best of luck. A patient is prescribed 200 milligrams of a drug that is available with a stock dose of 40 milligrams per 20 milliliters of solution. How much of the solution should the patient be given? Question two. A patient is prescribed 1.5 grams of a drug that is available with a stock dose of 500 milligrams in 150 milliliters of solution. How much of the solution should the patient be given? Question 3. A patient is prescribed 8 grams of a drug that is available in a 4% solution. How much of the solution should the patient be given? Question 4. A patient is prescribed 6 grams of a drug that is available in a solution dissolved in a 1 to 100 ratio. What is the volume of the solution the patient should be given? Question 5. A patient is prescribed 240 milligrams of a drug that is available in 60 milligram tablets. How many tablets should the patient be given? Question 6. A patient weighing 65 kilograms is prescribed 2 milligrams of a drug per kilogram. What is the total amount of the drug the patient should receive? Question 7. A patient weighing 25 kilograms is prescribed 5 milligrams per kilogram of a drug that is available in a 1% solution. How much of the solution should the patient be given? Okay, so let's look at the answers. Question 1. A patient is prescribed 200 milligrams of a drug that is available with a stock dose of 40 milligrams per 20 milliliters of solution. How much of the solution should the patient be given? Well, we should have identified that we need to use our basic dose calculation, which is prescribed dose divided by the stock dose multiplied by the volume the stock dose is in. So in the question, we've been given the prescribed dose as 200 milligrams. We've been given the stock dose as 40 milligrams. So if we put these numbers into our stock dose calculation, we get prescribed dose of 200 milligrams divided by the stock dose of 40 milligrams which gives us an answer of 5. 5 multiplied by the volume the stock dose is in, which in this case is 20 millilitres, gives us our answer of 100 millilitres. OK, question number 2. A patient is prescribed 1.5 grams of a drug that is available with a stock dose of 500 milligrams in a 150 millilitre of solution. And how much of the solution should the patient be given? Well, once again, we should have recognized that we can use our basic stock dose calculation of prescribed dose divided by stock dose multiplied by the volume the stock dose is in. But in this instance, we need to do a little bit of conversion. Since we've got 1.5 grams as one unit and 500 milligrams as another unit. So we need to convert the 1.5 grams into milligrams. And we do that by a factor of 1,000. So 1.5 grams multiplied by 1,000 gives us 1,500 milligrams. Now we can put the numbers into our formula. 1,500 milligrams of prescribed dose divided by 500 milligrams of the stock dose gives us an answer of 3. 3 multiplied by the volume of the stock dose comes in, which is 150 milliliters, gives us our answer of 450 milliliters. Question 3. A patient is prescribed 8 grams of a drug that is available in a 4% solution.
How much of the solution should the patient be given? So in this question, we need to identify that we're being told that the drug is available in a 4% solution, or in other words, that the drug is available as a stock dose of 4 grams for every 100 milliliters of solution. So now we know that we can put this into our basic dose formula. Again, prescribed dose of 8 grams divided by stock dose of 4 grams, which gives us 2. 2 multiplied by the volume the stock dose is in, which I've just stated is 100 milliliters. Therefore, 2 multiplied by 100 gives us our answer of 200 milliliters. Question number 4. A patient is prescribed 6 grams of a drug that is available in a solution dissolved in a ratio of 1 to 100. What is the volume of the solution the patient should be given? Well, in this question, the factor we need to consider is the dissolved ratio of 1 to 100, which basically means that for every 1 gram of drug, it's dissolved in a solution of 100 milliliters. So now we have the numbers to input into our basic stock dose formula of prescribed dose divided by stock dose multiplied by the volume the stock dose is in. So in this instance, we have a prescribed dose of 6 grams, a stock dose of 1 gram, 6 divided by 1 gives us 6. 6 multiplied by the volume the stock dose is in, which in this case is 100 milliliters, gives us our answer of 600 milliliters. Question number 5. A patient is prescribed 240 milligrams of a drug that is available in 60 milligram tablets. How many tablets should the patient be given? Well, in this calculation, we need to divide the prescribed dose by the stock dose. So we have 240 milligrams prescribed dose divided by 60 milligrams of stock dose to give us our answer of four tablets. Question six. A patient weighing 65 kilograms is prescribed two milligrams of a drug per kilogram. What is the total amount of the drug the patient should receive? Well, this is a fairly straightforward calculation. So we've got to multiply the weight of the patient by the drug in milligrams per kilogram. Well, since the patient weighs 65 kilograms, we multiply that by the 2 milligrams, as it's 2 milligrams per kilogram. So 65 kilograms multiplied by 2 milligrams per kilogram gives us our answer of 130 milligrams. Question 7. A patient weighing 25 kilograms is prescribed 5 milligrams per kilogram of a drug that is available in a 1% solution. How much of the solution should the patient be given? Well, we need to break this question down into two parts. Firstly, we need to work out the prescribed dose. And secondly, we need to work out how much of that prescribed dose we need to give in a solution. So let's work out the prescribed dose. A patient weighing 25 kilograms is prescribed 5 milligrams per kilogram. So we need to multiply the patient's weight of 25 kilograms by the 5 milligrams per kilogram of a drug which gives us a total of 125 milligrams. Now we have the prescribed dose, we need to work out the stock dose. Now in this instance, the stock dose is represented as a 1% solution. Now we know that 1% solution is the same as saying 1 gram dissolved in 100 milliliters of solution. So now we know the stock dose is 1 gram, we do need to convert this into milligrams since our prescribed dose is also in milligrams. So 1 multiplied by 1000, since we need to multiply by a factor of 1000, gives us 1000 milligrams. Now we've got our prescribed dose and our stock dose in the same metric unit, milligram. We can input these figures into our basic drug dose calculation of prescribed dose divided by stock dose multiplied by the volume the stock dose is in. So in this instance, we've got 125 milligrams divided by 1000 milligrams gives us 0 0.125. 0 0.125 multiplied by the 100 milliliter solution that the drug is dissolved in gives us our answer of 12.5 milliliters. And that concludes the end of module test. You can get lots more maths help at www.nursenet.uk or if you're looking for your next career move in nursing, do check out our jobs board. Thank you.